Hi, I'm Sandy and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16 in Life with Sandy. because it's nighttime. Look at it. It's dark outside. It's dark. But today is Friday, December 16th, and we do have some birthdays today. Today is Lori Sample's birthday. So, Lori, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Mama Lou's birthday. So, Mama Lou, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mama Lou. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And it's also Oliver's 13th birthday. Oliver is Chit-Chat Paddywhack, which, who is Anita. This is her grandson, Oliver. Today's his birthday. He's a teenager now. Look out. He's legal. No, he's not legal. He's legally a teenager now. So, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Oliver. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you all have a great, great birthday. Um, another busy day for me. Uh, I have my family here, which makes me happy, 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 no matter what. We went to bed. We all went to bed last night about 1 o'clock, and I slept sound. I didn't wake up till 9.30, and I thought, oh, what a hostess. You're still in bed, and your guests are probably up. Well, I got up and they weren't up, up, but they were up. They just didn't come out of their room because they didn't want to wake me up. I'm thinking, make yourself at home. You should have been on there watching TV or something. That would have got my big old butt out of bed a little bit earlier. But uh, so we, we just sat around and chit-chatted a little bit. And uh, they're not early breakfast eaters like me either, so that worked out well. And then Kathy and I went to uh, Kroger's because... Um, she had to get some stuff, and I had to get some stuff for the big Christmas party tomorrow. Uh, I was in charge of getting all the, my brother, Michael, Mary, and Denise and I are buying the lunch meat and the paper plates and, you know, like things like that. So I had to go to the store to get, today to get all that stuff. So I went to Kroger's to get that stuff. And Kathy had to get a couple of things. She's bringing a jalapeno wrap appetizer. So she wanted to get some stuff for that. And then uh, Michael came over and picked up Paul and Kathy, and they went out bar hopping. Here's a picture of them at the bar. They did offer to let Jim and I go, but um, I, I'm not really one to, you know, whatever. But they, they went to see the lights down in downtown Rochester. I have to get the phone. I'll be right back. I'm back. Uh, so anyway, I don't know if I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so then we went to Kroger's and we sat back on my brother. I showed the picture, blah, blah, blah. Continuing on. See, I didn't lose my train of thought that quickly, and I wasn't on the phone that long, about five or ten minutes. But for you, I was just a hot second. Um, so then when we uh, when they left, we brought our tables and chairs and the uh, dishes and uh, the paperware, plasticware, whatever, over to Jimmy's house. And um, uh, we didn't visit. We just left everything. And then I got home, and I thought, oh, shoot, I got a cookie call lab due tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock in the morning. So I had to make some cookies. So um, I made some butter pecan cookies, which was a quick, easy recipe. I didn't make any mistakes. This is two two recipes in a row that I'm just filming blind, that I've never done it before. My pretzels turned out really well. Danny had a couple um, for family dinner last night, and he said they were very good. And then um, I made the butter pecan cookies today, and they were a hit. Let me tell you, they were really good. But I did get mail. I can't show you the envelope because it came to my house. But I did get a Christmas card from Kim and David over at a girl on her phone. And see, she knows, she knows, snowman said, hi, it's Christmas time. Let the spirit of love gently fill our hearts and homes. Have a wonderful Christmas with you and your family. Love, Kim and David. Thank you, Kim. I'm just so happy to get Christmas cards. I love getting Christmas cards. And then I got another Christmas card from my neighbor across the street. So anyway, I did get some bills too. Does anybody want my bills? I got lots of bills. You can have my bills. I'll gladly share my bills. But there should be a, a rule that in uh, December there is no bills. You don't get charged for anything. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Um, so anyway, uh, 
I just didn't want to be in here too long because I don't might have my guests. Well, there, there should be back any minute now. Any, any time now, I should say, from their bar hopping experience and seeing all the lights and good things like that. I did do a couple loads of laundry in between. And I'm um, just so excited about my Christmas party tomorrow with my family. Uh, Lynn and Dale and Sarah are coming in from Toronto. They're just going to meet us at Jimmy's house because it's like, Jimmy's like from the uh, border. It's easier just to go to his house first and then they're going to spend the night. So uh, Sandy's in her happy place with her family nearby so close. It's just, it, it just it brings me such joy. I'm so glad that Lynn doesn't live that far. She's like four hours away. So that's not that far. So we do get to see each other. Paul and Kathy live like 13 hours away. So I'm trying to talk them into moving <laughs> a little bit closer. But, uh, you know, selfish Sandy. So um, anyway, I'm going to share a little tiny, 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 tiny little clip of Jimmy's living room. Um, he said that he's going to do a holiday fix it up tour. When we went there today, I couldn't film his whole house because he's still getting ready for the big day tomorrow. Uh, he's like his mother last minute planning. <laughs> last minute. He's known for a year that it was going to be tomorrow, but it's like last minute. He gets that from me. I, I know that. But uh, I'm going to show a really quick, the entertainment center, David and Jimmy built along, well, they built the house. So why wouldn't they build the entertainment center too? So they did build the entertainment center. So I'll give you a quick little glimpse of that. Um, I'll do some filming tomorrow, so you'll see the house like in bits and pieces, but Jimmy is definitely going to do a Christmas house tour, so look for that hopefully before Christmas, but we're talking Jimmy, so we don't know. And I'm going to share Jimmy's Christmas memories since we're sharing Christmas, Jimmy's house. So um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. Be happy, be merry, be, be, be joyous, and... Uh, <sighs> You know, remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. But happy Hanukkah coming up for my friends um, that are Jewish. I think that starts, yeah, I, know, I don't think I know. It starts December 18th. It's coming up quick. Two days from now, their Hanukkah begins. So happy Hanukkah. I don't know if it's too soon to say it, but I'm saying it. Happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays and all that good stuff. So uh, here's Jimmy's quick tour of his living room and then Jimmy's memory. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Oh, you're fine. I was 13. You can throw in your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas memory for Dan, for Jimmy. That would be telling Danny, but there was no Santa. I already told him that once. You well, got to come up with a different you one. You can't tell somebody else's Christmas memory. You can't tell me. Memory. You can't tell my Christmas story. They go, come up with a Christmas memory. Not that one. You're Not that one. Just come up with a good one. one did she tell? The one about me telling Danny and then hiding all the presents. Um, all right, cut. Give me a minute. How old was I? Two? Three? Well, no, I you're four. I okay, four. I wanted an actual, not an actual, but as close to actual fire truck as you can get. The pedal. Mom and Dad said no, so I went right to Grandpa. <laughs> and I'm like, Grandpa, I need a fire truck. Anyway, so you'll have to find the picture, or I'll find the picture and give it to him because there's a picture of me sitting on his, sitting in that fire truck with him leaning over with a shit eating grin. <laughs> That was a good one. We're ready. So since Danny didn't want to give his Christmas memory. I think <laughs> he, he did give a Christmas memory. No, not the one that we all thought he should have gave. Can I tell it? You can, she wants a memory that we like. Oh, me and Christy love this. Me and Christy love this memory. Well, yeah, you're not, your favorite memory is not going to be something you don't like. Well, if we think it's funny, then we like it. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's hilarious. Well, Christy, you can come in here and be part of your memory, too, then. <laughs> well, I don't remember it. I just know the story. I can still see it. That's the point. What are you talking about? No, I didn't know. But I wanted the one that you want to get lost. Oh. <laughs> no? You don't care? Yeah, you can tell that one. I was like four years old. <laughs> So Danny was a heavy sleeper, <laughs> and so we came Just home Christmas Eve, and everyone's like, oh, Santa's coming, brush your teeth and do everything. So I went to brush my teeth, and I looked around, and I'm like, where's Danny? And Danny's usually here brushing his teeth next to me. So I look out in the kitchen, I'm like, well, I want something to eat, too. And Mom's like, you're not getting anything to eat. I'm like, well, Danny's getting something to eat. She's like, Danny, get out of here. Goes to the other side, there he is, his pants down. <laughs> 
peeing in the meat drawer. <laughs> Actually, vegetable bin. Or was it the vegetable bin? Whatever it was. I was sleeping. Just peeing away. I'm like, oh, I want to eat that. <laughs> he was a sleepwalker. Yes. <laughs>